Where's the lump? Oh, it's here. A hamster came in with a complaint of a lump on his neck. What will we do? Yeah, How will we treat this? Way. Watch this video to find out. A Syrian hamster has a large neck tumour. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. Hamster tumours usually develop as small lumps than hamsters over one year old. Many young Singaporean hamster owners have hectic working and personal lifestyles, and some do not even have time for their retiree parents, let alone the pet at home. Singapore has so many distractions and entertainment outlets for the young hamster owner, so the hamster's tumour is left to grow. Many young Singaporeans procrastinate visiting the vet till the tumours are gigantic, as in this case and many others seen at Topayo Vets. Many vets do not wish to operate on large hamster tumours. Some will advise oral medication and euthanasia when the infected ulcerated tumours are too large causing the hamster poor health. Surgical excision is the only treatment, but the owner needs to find a vet who does hamster surgery. An owner brought her hamster to see the vet as there's a large lump on her hamster's neck. Active, huh? Ah, but yeah. no strength to climb. So it's still energetic. You cannot climb up the cage. Again. What's Syrian? Uh, comes in with a complaint of a lump on the throat here, there. Which lump here? And uh, the lump is big, so just the hair is gone, uh. The hamster. How to solve this problem? Inject hamster with solitude 100 IM to immobilize it. Use electrosurgery to remove tumours. Stitch the incision. Electrosurgery Part 1 Injection to immobilize hamster. The gelatil 100 injection into the muscle. So, this is the muscle. So, my system holds it. And it's 0 0.01 ml IM. That's it. Okay, finish. Next, now we, we, we see the check the hamster. Actually, there are two, two lungs up there. The two lungs on, on, on inspection. So now I'm going to do electrosurgery. Electrosurgery part 2. Surgery. Do the, the, the cut here. It probably my bleed. You can see it's a bit cystic. It's really okay. Finish it. Removal of first tumor. Islam first and first. The claim first. Got to do one first. Claim to prevent any bleeding. I use electrosurgery to cut. Ligation of stump to prevent bleeding. I just do a continuous stitch. Okay, let's start with here. Continuous stitch. In case it bleeds. Yeah. Called continuous stitch. Okay, then I open up. What the claim? This is the one end, and this is the other end.
removal of second tumor. Second one is adhered to the skin. See whether they can shell it out there. Shell and clamp. Undermine the skin. This second one. Okay, stop. This second one. Then the electrosurgery. Excise. Stitching up the skin. The number the stitch up. The second tube, second tumor didn't bleed, so I didn't uh, like it. Now I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm doing the skin now. Continuous suture. Do the continuous suture. Hamster is just nice, not too deep, no? too deep in my thigh. Okay, finish. Is the time? See the time? Electrosurgery Part 3 Post Operation Hamster is cleaned and blood is wiped off. You can see the hamster is uh, breaking up. We didn't really need to use the gas. It passed a lot of stools. Try to be careful not to dirty the wound. Now we cannot use aircon because it gets cold, hypothermia. And uh, the damper is getting up and moving more. Moving more means good news. Huh? Uh, so clean up all the blood first. So do not wait till the, the lungs are so large. Then you seek veterinary treatment. The hamster is awake and the surgery went well. The hamster can go home soon. This is only about 20 minutes only. After end of surgery, it's quite good if it's awake. The retail anesthesia. No need gas. Okay, go back. These are the two large tumors near the throat that were excised. The Syrian hamster was alright and went home about one hour later. The owner and her Taiwanese mother were pleased and would give the oral antibiotics and painkillers. It's a joy to see the Syrian hamster alive. Follow up five days later. The incision has become infected. Okay, start. Today is the 3rd of September. The hamster first came on the 30th of August. It's been five days since the initial surgery. The hamster came back because the incision has been uh, infected. infected. It's a big incision and uh, the owner does not really know how to take care of it. Now we, we have put the hamster under anesthetic yesterday and uh, take out the st stitches. There's some uh, smell from the bacterial infection. Now we see the wound. As you can see, we, we hold the hamster's mouth and then see the wound. This, the wound is uh, healing but there's uh, infected tissues there. So we will clean it every day and uh, give antibiotics. This hamster is eating. Mm. It looks very active. Huh? And as you can see, the, the earlier you get the tumor removed, the smaller the, the operating area and the less likelihood of infection. But as you can see, two tumors were removed and uh, the operating area was very long, almost about four centimeters. So there's a likely of infection, but this is uh, easily solved. It needs to be re rebuilt and treated. Okay. Tumors and skin warts can appear anywhere on the hamster. Here are some images of some hamsters with tumors and skin warts who have visited Topayo Vet since 2001.
This is a hamster with a cheek pouch abscess. This is a hamster with a large skin tumour. This is a hamster with a large lump beside the ear. This is a hamster with a tumour in the ear auricle. This is a hamster with a chest tumour. This is a hamster with a large armpit tumour. This is a hamster with an armpit full of warts. This is a hamster with a nose tumour. This is a hamster with a leg tumour. This is a hamster with a ear tumour. In conclusion, do not wait too late to seek veterinary treatment or else the animal may die. If you notice a tumour near your hamster's neck, do visit the vet early as the tumour may grow in size and complications might arise. It is up to you, the owner, to notice these tumours as your pets are able to talk, so do monitor your pet daily. In this case, the owner did not opt for histology to test if the tumour were cancerous, as it was too expensive. If it were cancerous, then the tumour might reappear. If a histology test had been taken, then the owner would know whether the tumour was cancerous. If it were, the tumour may reappear and the owner can prepare for it. For more information, call us at the following numbers or email us at the following address and visit us at tobiovets.com. Be kind to pet, veterinary educational videos, Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, BVMS, Glasgow, MRCVS, Consultant Vet, Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, Yangong, Myanmar, Dr. Daniel Sing Jongchen, BSC, BBMS, Murdoch.